Here, once again, is the cart that moves under the ruler faster than the ruler. I've just modified it a bit to make room for a passenger. She's called Flossie. Now, when I say that the cart moves faster than the ruler, I'm talking about it from the point of view of somebody on the ground, like Ethel here. When Ethel looks at the cart, it's quite clear. She sees the ruler go above at a certain speed, and she sees the cart go by faster. But if we look at it from the point of view of somebody like Carlos here on the ruler, it's a bit different. What Carlos sees is the ground going one way and the cart going the other way. So I'm going to try and let you look at this from Carlos's point of view. I'm going to hold the ruler still using these books here to help me. And I'm going to make the ground move. And you'll see as I move the ground to the left, the cart moves to the right. And as I move the ground back to the right, the cart moves to the left. So Carlos doesn't call it the cart that moves faster than the ruler. He calls it the cart that goes the other way to the ground. But in fact, it doesn't make any difference if I hold the ground still and move the ruler, or if I hold the ruler still and move the ground. It's the same cart, and it's doing exactly the same thing. As Flossie here will tell you, she sees that Ethel is further away from her than Carlos, but she notices that she reaches both of them at about the same time. Now, take a look at something else. What we just saw was the cart that goes downwind faster than the wind. And the way we were looking at it is just the same way that Carlos here looks at my cart. There's a treadmill going to the left that's making the ground move to the left, and the cart moves to the right in the opposite direction. Of course, what was missing is the ruler, because that cart doesn't use a wheel to work its way along a ruler. It uses a propeller to work its way through the air. But apart from that, they're much the same thing. And there, as here, what's important is relative movement. It doesn't make any difference if we hold the ground still and have the air move above it, that makes wind, or if we hold the air still and have the ground move below it, that also makes wind. If we were to put Ethel here on that treadmill, treadmill moves like this, Ethel would feel the wind on her face and she'd see the cart go by faster than that wind. So when we're looking at that clip with the treadmill going one way and the cart going the other way and the air stationary, what we're actually seeing is a cart going faster than the wind.